This is part two of the syllabus explanation. Your classroom observation and reflection paper is due by Friday, October 31st. This paper is going to be based on your 10 hours of classroom observations. It needs to be eight to 10 pages in length, double spaced, and APA sixth edition style. You're gonna submit the paper via UV Learns under assignments classroom observations. You'll also need to turn in a signed observation form, which is available on the last page of this syllabus. You're gonna scan a copy and post it to your individual Google document. Please note, you cannot pass this course without completing the 10 hours of observation and writing the reflection paper. Failure to do so means an automatic failure of the course. Throughout the semester, you'll have different assignments on your Google document and on the course schedule to help you work towards the completion of the assignment. I recommend completing five hours of observations at one location and five hours at a contrasting location. So middle versus high school, early childhood versus elementary school, city versus suburban, rural versus city. This is gonna give you a lot more material to draw in from for your reflection. The purpose of the classroom observation point is paper is to focus on the salient points of your observation. You should not recite what you saw. This paper is meant to be an in-depth, thoughtful analysis of the teaching, the school environment, the students, etc. You're making connections to classroom readings, you're raising questions, and you're exploring them even if you don't decide an answer. And you're reflecting on what you saw and what you would take away into your classroom setting. Remember, when you're observing in these schools, you're a representative of this class, of me, and of UB. So you need to dress professionally, abide by school rules, and maintain a courteous and respectful relationship. You are coming at this assignment and this course in general from the perspective of being a future teacher. You're no longer a student. You're a future teacher. And this paper should be approached in the same way. The course schedule outlines that you should start contacting schools in the next first two weeks of the class. When you call the school, you're gonna likely be connected with the secretary. Explain that you're in the UB class, what you're looking, your content area is, so art or foreign language, and ask to be connected with a teacher in the area. Oftentimes, teachers' names and email addresses are available on the school website, so you might try to send an email to the teacher. Be very prepared for rejection. A lot of times schools and teachers, they don't feel comfortable having someone in their classroom. If they say no, do not pester them, just move on to another avenue. You are responsible for transportation to and from schools. And make sure to thank your teacher for allowing you to observe. A card, a small gift is always appreciated. You're going to have to do future observations if you continue on with the education minor or you go to be certified. So this is a door you would want to keep open. I recommend Excuse me. You need to keep a copy of the attached log at the end of the syllabus. You need to make sure that these are signed by the teacher and that you're counting it based on your actual observations. So if you observe for a 40 minute period, that's 40 minutes of your 10 hours. The time between class, teacher planning periods, lunch, they do not count, so plan accordingly. As you observe, you should take notes on these following different things just to help you. This is not gonna be turned in, this is not required, but they're just different salient points that might be interesting as you observe. These should not be addressed as bullet points in your papers. They're meant to give you a starting point for your discussion to discuss and to take notes on as you observe. When you go to your individual Google document, On your individual Google document under the classroom observation and reflection paper tab. As you go through the course schedule, you'll have different assignments. So your hours check in by week five, you should have at least five hours done. Put the name, the date you attended, the number of hours, where you're attending, and some interesting things you're starting to notice. This can connect back to those prompt questions. The paper outline activity is meant to help you organize your thoughts for this reflection paper. It's a brainstorming. There's no right or wrong answer. It reviews the purpose, the rubric, and the model of this assignment. And what interested you? Your course paper should be organized into three to four areas of interest of what you're going to cover. 
How do these connect to the course? How are they connecting to each other? What are these three to four points of interest? Remember, you're not covering in a bulleted list all the different questions available here. You're taking what interested you, what connects to your future career, and you're writing a reflective paper based on what you saw, what you would change, what you would keep you the same, how it connects to our course, and how it connects to your future as an educator. By Friday, October 24th, you're gonna post a rough draft of your paper for feedback. This doesn't need to be completed, but it needs to give some indication of where you are in the process so I can give you some feedback before you submit your final draft, which will be submitted on October 31st by Friday, and you'll need to post the scan of your final presentation log here. Excuse me, of your course observation log here. If you would like to earn full points on this assignment, make sure you're meeting all the requirements. This includes eight to 10 pages, APA 6th edition, Remember, use the Center for Writing and Excellence in Writing if you need it. Make sure it's consistently grammatically correct. Again, the Center for Excellence in Writing will help you there. It's a free resource. Make sure your paper is reflective in nature. It should not be a summary of your experience. It should talk about what you saw briefly and then focus on reflecting. It should be a logical sequence. Use headers if you need to organize the paper better, and you should develop connections between what you saw and what you're exploring and what you saw in the course text so far, the videos, the readings, etc. Your observation form is worth five points of this final grade. Lastly, your final presentation is due on Friday, December 5th, and you're responding to five of your classmates by Friday, December, or excuse me, Wednesday, December 10th. So you're really creating an investigative investigative presentation based on a topic you select from the list below. If there's a topic you would like to explore in education that's not listed below, feel free. I give further information on the assignment on the screencast available on UB Learns. But basically, you're going to write a question, an investigative question, and then you're going to answer it using additional sources as well as sources we've read throughout the course. You're going to create a final presentation using both visual and audio components. You can make a movie, you can make a screencast such as this, a narrated PowerPoint. There's a lot of different options. And then you'll post it to the final presentation Google Doc. It's linked on UB Learns. There's lots of different options for topics. And if you think you have another topic you'd like to investigate, just email me and we'll work on something. If you would like to earn all your points for this assignment, Make sure you're meeting all the requirements. Make sure you're referencing your bibliography. If you make a movie, you can post your bibliography on your individual Google document. You formed an investigative question. You're using information that relates to your topic. You've organized your ideas well. You understand the content. And then you're responding to your classmates with a high level of thought. If you need to cite any of our readings throughout the semester, they're listed here for you. And the last two pages of the syllabus are the observation logs for your classroom observation paper. You can print a copy and then you can just scan it to UB Learns. Let me know if you have any questions on the syllabus. And now please go take the quiz on UB Learns so you can earn the three points.